we talk about the the pros, the not geo, you know, photographers is a whole nother layer of of things I think that get added to it. But I think that kind of covers that. So let's maybe talk about there's gear, there's you know the the subject, there's wide angle versus macro. But like why and you kind of alluded to it I think in, in the beginning here, but <coughs> Why do underwater photos matter kind of in the grand scheme of things? So, you know, there is that argument out there that look like I'm diving and I want to be in the moment. And, and there's some truth to that with, with, for, for me, even with like, you know, Zen and the art of motorcycle maintenance, I've talked about before on this podcast about, you know, removing the frame and being a part of the environment and having that experience versus seeing it through a lens or seeing it through a camera or, or even reliving it, you know, later through a hard drive, like you're talking about your first dives. Mm -hmm. So why do underwater photos kind of matter in the grand scheme of things? And is there a, a personal payoff to capturing a photo or a set of photos? And, and I think you alluded to some of this stuff in the opening, but I want to unpack that a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. And I, I think for me, there's definitely a personal payoff to it and it's, Part of it is sharing it with other people, but part of it is very personal too. Um, you know, the whole, whatever, whatever that is, that drive that, you know, makes us all want to go scuba diving all the time, you know, cause you, there's some people that dive a few times a year and then there's people like us that are obsessed with it for some reason. And <laughs> there, there, there's something that, that draws us to that. And, um, when you get into photography, um, you typically will start photographing things that you love like that. And there is something about capturing, uh, trying to capture, just like what you said, um, you know, you're talking about living in the moment and removing the frame. There's something about putting a frame up there and trying to capture certain specific, spe uh, spe uh, can't even talk, specific things within that frame um, that uh, kind of uh, capture everything that you want to take and share with somebody else and convey, you know, convey what you love about that specific thing. And, uh, yeah, that makes sense. I would say too, that there's another thing too, about when you're, when you're somewhere that you find really fascinating in, in a, in a place that you feel like is very cool, you know, like for example, the first time I ever went to the flower garden banks, I was, I was blown away. I haven't been diving in a whole lot of places by that point. Um, and, uh, that was, you know, one of the earlier coral reefs that I've ever seen. Um, and I was just blown away. Um, there's something about wanting to capture that moment and kind of freeze that moment, uh, in the best way that you possibly can. So you could bring that back home and either turn it into a fine art print or share it with your friends, or even just post it on social media, whatever you're into. Um, it's kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like a souvenir to where you're not really taking anything from that place, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, I think, I think that makes sense. And like, like I said, I think that's some of the regret I, I have sometimes is like, oh, I wish I, you know, there's only so far that, that verbal storytelling can go uh, to where you're trying to communicate what you saw or, mm -hmm. you know, to, to friends that don't dive or what it's like under the water. And, yeah. And, you know, it's hard to convey that in with words often. Um, and, and, and that's what it is. My opinion is it's, it's a form of communication. I, I think that's a very good way to put it. And that, that's what photography is on any level. It's, you know, you're telling a story with one image, whereas a video, you're mm -hmm. telling a story in multiple sequences. Photography is you're trying to include um, whatever you need in that one image to tell that story. And if your audience is people that don't dive and you're trying to um, share with them you know, that, that amazing feeling that you got the first time you dove in the flower garden banks in the Gulf of Mexico, and you want them to feel that grandness that you felt uh, when you first jumped in there. That that that's a really special thing. If 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 you know I'm ever able to accomplish that, that would feel really good. Um, if you could just yeah. nail it, you know, just like absolutely nail it in one photograph, and it just kind of hangs there for forever and keeps getting shared and looked at, and you know, just builds its own life. Yeah, it's like the the light rays in um, the pit. You know, you yeah. see that. Picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's one of those pictures that we, uh, we don't even, I, I don't even probably have to say which one it is. We, we both have probably the same image in our head right now of that picture. There, there's a picture the I keep rays. seeing of Ponderosa too. That's, that's kind of like that. And 
Yeah. It's just, you know, these and, God rays coming through the the opening. And, and it did kind of capture what that felt like when you dove there. We, we didn't dive there together. We dove there separately. But when you dove there, that image is what comes to mind from that experience, even though there's a lot more to both of those sites. You know, the, mm-hmm. the and I, I've never been to Ponderosa. Ponderosa. I'm talking about somebody else's. <laughs> I'm talking about somebody oh, else's okay, photo okay. that I keep seeing. Yeah, I've never been to Ponderosa. I, I want to. I've been told to go there in the winter time. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, El Pit. I mean, that blew that blew my mind for sure. I I yeah. really loved yeah. that experience. Yeah. Um, but I think there's yeah, I, there's I, something I, else that you said earlier. I, I didn't mean to cut you off, Jay. My bad. Um, no, but there's something ahead, else that you said. Uh, there, there's something else that you said earlier too. Um, that kind of answers your question in a way because you were talking about um the different levels that a photographer might be on whether they're just carrying a gopro to shoot from the hip as they're diving or whether they're going as far as to plan an entire dive uh to take a shot and that's another thing that i've always found really fascinating and i haven't really gotten into it at that level yet but i definitely you know want to want to grow to that because that's when you're taking um that's when you're planning a dive kind of like a mission to where, you know, you're coming back with this, this image that you have in your mind, this, this thing that you want to create. Um, and you know, now you're taking this, uh, this whole tangible skill that you've been learning and all these technical things, and then you're mixing it with creativity and in, in its own, in, in its own way. I, I just find that really fascinating. And then you get to come back with that, uh, with that package basically. Yeah. And, and that's, that's something that I, I really like the idea of. 